60 degree it is inclined so the ray is incident This angle is 60 degree. Focal length is f for both. And now where the rays, the, the rays will converge at f no? So this distance is f, this is f. So this will be the I1. This is 60 degrees. So this I1 will become object for the second lens. So this is a lens 1. This is a lens 2. The rays incident normally on the first lens. So they will converge on the axis of this, this one. So what is the, this dotted one? This is the optic axis of lens 1. This is the optic axis of lens 2. Huh. Is it is it this I1 on the axis, optic axis of this node? So what is the object distance? This will become object distance. Hmm. Able to get this and this is the focal length. So we'll calculate the object distance now. So I'll, I'll write u2. So from the formula 1 by v2 focal length v2. Uh, this, this how the rays the rays are incident in this direction. So we have to calculate the u2. How to calculate u2? So I will take help of the mathematics here. Cos 60 is equal to E2E e by E2 I1. One by two. P2A. E. P2 I1 is F. Is F we should calculate P2 in you know? Okay, this will be f by 2. So this will be minus of f by 2 equal to this f by 1 by v2 is equal to 1 by f minus 2 by f. equal to minus f. Minus f means <coughs> somewhere it, it has to be. This distance will be f by 2. This distance will be Then uh, we will go for magnification, m2 is equal to v2 by u2, v2 is what, minus f, minus f by 2, equal to 2, magnification is 2, then the height, h2 should be equal to m into h1, magnification is 2, h1 is I1. What is I1 mean? Sine 60 is equal to I1A by P2 I1. Here, here, here. This, this triangle. You have to look at this triangle. Hmm? So this will be root 3 by 2. Uh, I1A is what we need it. 
P2 I1 is what? F. So I1 is equal to 2, 3, F by T. Root 3, F. And the coordinates, sir, huh? is asking coordinates. Root 3, F, I should measure in this direction. what b so height of the image we know that is h2 so we'll calculate p1 b we'll see cross checking we don't know where the actually the image i2 sin 60 is equal to p1 b by p1 p2 so root 3 by 2 equal to p1 b by 2f so p1 b in fact root 3f and H2 also we got root here. So final image will be there here, 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 at this point. So where the final image will form? At the optic center of the first lens. As H2 is equal to P1B equal to root 3 f So therefore, so therefore, Final image will be at final image I2. Will be at optic center P1 of length 1. Ah, very good problem. Huh? You should be very good in <laughs> observation. Uh, we, we can write equation. You see that one. Making guess of things also is needed here. This is the location of final image. So many equations you wrote. Okay, this is from where? Triangles, sir. Several triangles, sir. Cos 60 is equal to uh, P2A by P1. So there's a triangle. P2A I1. This is for triangle. P2, B, P1. This is for This is for triangle P2, B, P1. <coughs> I'll take the next one. Oh, okay, now. 